Remember this big, bright star that had its moment of fame when JWST used it as a calibration star? Well, it's now been revisited and the image has had a huge upgrade. We now have a colorized mosaic version of the star from Webb, and maybe even cooler, is the zoo of background galaxies that are now in full color too. Let's take a deeper look at this image and some other brand new Webb images too. From a pretty monochrome red and orange shot of the star, a calibration image just meant to show us that the telescope actually worked, to a beautiful full color landscape that has all the markings of a classic web shot. We still see the huge diffraction spikes. Click up here to see the video where I explain exactly where these come from. And we even see more of the background galaxies appearing out of the darkness. They aren't the target, but JWST is so good at collecting faint light that it really can't take an image of a blank sky. Distant objects always pop up in the background. To answer a very common question about the diffraction spikes, can they be removed? Because while I think they look kind of cool, lots of people find them annoying or distracting and worry they'll cover up important science targets. In short, yes, they can be, but at a small cost, either in quality or in telescope time. It is possible to remove the spikes in post-processing of the images, but you lose resolution of the image in the areas you've removed the spikes from. The other way to get rid of them is by taking multiple images of the target with the telescope. Each one with the telescope rotated just a little bit, so the spikes cover up different things in each one, and then you stack all of the images together to remove the spikes. The more images you can take and use here, the better this is at removing them. But this is expensive because it uses much more telescope time, but it is the most effective way of removing them. The spikes here are so big because the star is extremely bright, much brighter than most things that JWST will look at, so they normally won't be so intrusive. Besides the star, the exciting thing here is getting another view of all of those background galaxies, now in full color. We get to see them in more detail too, and they're even more gorgeous than the first time we saw them. Take a look at this pair here that look like they're interacting. These beautiful spirals, and so much more background detail wherever you look. There's a link in the description if you want to download the full resolution image to look at yourself. If you do, let me know the coolest things you spot behind the star. And there's also a link to an interactive version, so you can zoom without having to download the big image. The new color version is also a wider shot than the original calibration image. So we actually get even more of the stellar neighborhood than we previously saw. So again, let me know anything particularly interesting you can spot in this wider image. Now, let's take a look at some other brand new web images that have surfaced recently. These are mostly coming out on Twitter. You can follow me there if you want because I try and share all of them as soon as I see them there. If the image was put on Twitter, then it probably came from someone working directly with web data and they likely share images often. So I'll put their handles in the credits of each image. So be sure to follow all of them too to see these images as soon as you can. Let's start with the largest galaxy mosaic taken by JWST so far released by the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, SIRS. The obvious impressive thing here is the size. Like I said, it's the largest image yet released from Webb, and you really need to zoom around with it yourself to appreciate the true depth of this image. Again, there's a link in the description of this video to a website where you can zoom around in browser, and it's really worth doing. However, I particularly like this version of the image because it picks out six especially cool objects for us, so we can take a quick look around at those. Thanks to Rebecca Larson on the Sears team for that, and I'll leave exploring the rest of the image as an exercise for the reader. Firstly, a gorgeous blue spiral galaxy where each of these clumps is a region of star formation lighting up certain neighborhoods of the galaxy. This galaxy isn't super distant at just redshift 0.16, but it is super beautiful. Number two is a delightful train of galaxies. And I think it made this elite list of six because if you look with just a little imagination, it kind of looks like Pac-Man eating up this train of fruity galaxies. Highlight number three is the Space Kraken, a set of interacting galaxies at redshift 1.4, while number four is another chaotic tangle of interacting galaxies. This one is special though, because it might contain the first supernova found by JWST. This is still just a candidate supernova at this point and needs to be checked more, but it's exciting nonetheless. Fifth on the list is a particularly beautiful spiral galaxy, chosen to highlight the amount of detail we're seeing, even in super distant galaxies. 
Finally, number six here features a few things, including a long tidal tail in the top left and an even more beautiful galaxy merger in the bottom right. The team also showed us where to find Maisie's galaxy in this image, which might be the most distant one in the shot, and they gave us a miry shot of the landscape as well. Moving on to a few quick fire highlights now, starting with this super cool shot of a dwarf galaxy projected onto a planetarium dome, somehow made even cooler by the sense of wonder added by the people stood in front. SpaceGuy44 on Twitter has been posting a whole load of gorgeous images too. Go check them out or pause here for a more detailed look, but all of them are absolutely stunning. Just look at all of those stars and galaxies. Finally, and I think this one might be one of my favorites of the video, it's the center of the Galaxy NGC 1365. There were a few different versions of this one leaking out recently, so I'm showing you a selection of them here, including this comparison of Hubble data showing the same galaxy. Just look at all of that detail, the stars, the bright spikes in the center, suggesting the presence of a very active and bright black hole anchoring the galaxy together. And in this wider shot, the outer regions even look almost like they're wrapping around the very center. Simply stunning. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at some brand new web images. Let me know your favorites in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for even more JWST and other Astro content. Until next time, stay safety. I'll see you soon. Bye.